Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Amy Reads, and today we are vlogging the weekend. So today is Friday, December 11th, and um, I've decided to vlog my weekends for Vlogmas because everybody likes to vlog, and it's called Vlogmas. Literally just woken up, haven't washed my face or brushed my hair, so you all are getting like true Amy. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to talk to you about what I'm doing today. I actually have a lot of things to do and like just little errands to run and stuff today. Um, the rest of the weekend I don't have anything so I don't know how interesting this vlog will be. But um, I will be reading so let me tell you what I'll be reading. I'm currently in the middle of These Violent Delights by Micah Nemerever um, or Mika not sure. Um, I am about halfway, like almost exactly halfway through. <clears throat> this takes place in the 1970s in Pittsburgh and follows two young men who meet at college um, and just their very toxic, obsessive relationship with each other um, and how that leads to, I think they're going to kill someone. The prologue is very compelling and leads you to think that th they're going to do something and then you go back and you you um, you meet them and see how they may meet and and all that stuff so not sure what's going to happen there hi June um, but I mean it's good so far it's not um, it's definitely like a little heavier and it has um, a very Everybody talks about the secret history, and this is even like, secret history meets lie with me. I don't know what lie with me is. It says it's Hitchcockian tale of two college students. Um, I feel like this is, um, yeah, like just a touch pretentious. Like the writing's not pretentious. The characters are, specifically Julian, one of the characters. Um, we're mostly following Paul. We don't really follow Julian. Um... I feel like we are more following Paul, who is the kind of, um, probably he's more obsessed with Julian than Julian is obsessed with him, so it's it's kind of an unbalanced thing, but anyway, I mean, I'm liking it. Um, it's not like um, the most incredible thing I've ever read, but I'm not disliking it. There's nothing, like, wrong with it. So I'm reading that this weekend. That would be super cool if I could finish it by Sunday, but who knows. And then I have a to-do list of things to do, you know. Um, let's see, let me go to my list on my phone. I literally made it last night. So <laughs> I literally put this on my list. Um, Listen to Evermore by Taylor Swift. So yesterday Taylor Swift announced that she was dropping yet another album at midnight last night. Um, I'm not generally a Taylor Swift fan, and people who know me know that I'm not, like, a huge fan of hers. Um, you know, I hear songs on the radio, sometimes I like her singles, sometimes I don't. But I've never, I listened to 1989, and I liked that a lot. I mean, it's just pure pop goodness, right? So I liked 1989 a lot, but then Reputation came out, and I absolutely hated the singles from Reputation, and I was not enjoying that whole vibe, and so I was like, I guess this is just a fluke, and I don't really like Taylor Swift. Um, and then Lover came out. I didn't even listen to it. I hated the singles from Lover. Um, and so Folklore came out earlier this year and it just had like this different looking vibe and it looked like very like indie folk and I thought, all right, I'm going to listen to it because everybody was talking about it. I'm like, well, I'm just going to listen to it, see if I like it. I love it and I have listened to it so much this year that she was like my third top artist on Spotify. That's how much I listened to it this year. So I'm going to give Evermore a shot because um, it's the sister album to Folklore. So literally sitting and listening to Evermore is on my to-do list. So I'll be doing that this morning. Um, I need to fill out my Christmas cards today because I'm the worst about getting Christmas cards out. I already have the envelopes prepped, I have all the cards out, I have my addresses, I just need to do it. So filling out Christmas cards, uh, we have a grocery delivery coming in a couple hours. I gotta put away the groceries. Um, I have to finish editing my video that goes up tomorrow. I have to mail a present to my friend in Philadelphia. I have to take some coats 
for a coat donation drive thing for the homeless. I need to drop those off with a friend. I have to meet my brother briefly and bring him some candy because we are doing our taste test, but we're doing it virtually because we don't want to be together. Um, we're trying to be really, really safe because COVID cases are terrible in our area right now. So I will be masked meeting him very briefly to give him that. Um, and then I have an enormous box plus a bag of books to take to my local used bookstore to for credit or cash, whichever, probably credit. That's what I want. Um, so a lot of things to do today. So I will take you along as, if I remember, I will take you along for as many of those as, as I remember. So it's obviously a little later. I've gotten dressed. I've brushed my hair and washed my face and brushed my teeth and I feel like more of a human being. My purse here because I am ready to go out and run some errands. Um, I got quite a big stack of Christmas cards done. I only, I'm only sending out like 20 so not a ton. Um, I have a couple that, for family that I need addresses and then I have a couple that I need return labels. I know that I could write my, my address on there but I've used these really cute return labels on all the other ones so I ordered some more from Shutterfly and they'll be here in a few days. So I want them all to look the same because I'm an idiot. Um, but anyways, uh, so first thoughts on Evermore. I like it. Um, I was listening to, I listened to it like two times through actually while I was doing Christmas cards. Um, so I feel like there's a certain point in the album where everything started to sound kind of the same because I wasn't paying as much attention, but like the first like six, seven tracks, I'm like, you know, but with like with any album, like you got to listen to it a little bit. Um, and like, I'll really sit and like listen to the lyrics more. Um, but I'm liking it. I definitely like the first couple tracks that I'm like remembering now. I really like the first track, Willow. Um, and there's a song with Haim uh, called No Body, No Crime. And uh, basically about like, you know, killing this dude who cheated on one of them. And um, it reminds me of, I don't listen to Carrie Underwood because I don't listen to country music really, unless it's Casey Musgraves or if you count Taylor Swift as country, which not really anymore. But um, there's this Carrie Underwood song that my friend Sarah played me about, is it called Two Black Cadillacs or something? About, you know, killing a guy who cheated on you. But, um, and it gave me those vibes. I was like, okay, Taylor's writing like a revenge song. Well, I'm down. Okay, I'm gonna go have a curbside pickup for Target to pick up that candy. Um, I'm gonna go get some lunch while I'm out and then I'll come home, I'll divide the candy up and then I will go back out into the world and do all of my other errands, post office, bookstore, meet my brother, coat drop off. God, I've got a lot to do today. I wish I'd update my to-do list and make me feel better. Uh, but right now I'm gonna go out and do that. I just wanna give you my thoughts on Evermore. Um, my little kitty girl, Junie, can you see her? Like, can you see how she is sitting on the arm of the couch? She's so funny. She's so funny. Anyway, um, so okay, I'm gonna go do that and I'll uh, I'll check with you in a bit. Oh, I've not read anything. I don't know how much of reading will happen in this vlog. I've not read anything. <laughs> Holy crap, I just got out of the post office. I am sweating. Of course I had my mask on and it's a million degrees. It is so busy. I hate being in a place where a lot of people, now everyone was wearing a mask. 
So I appreciate that. And people were keeping their distance as best they could. But still, um, and I ended up, so I had to mail two different packages, but I didn't have the boxes for them. So I had to go actually package them up. So that took a couple minutes. And then I go to get in line and there's like 15 people already in line. And you know at a post office, that means you're going to be there for two hours. Um, so then I was like, oh, I'll go to the self-serve kiosk. Because that's not as bad. And then there were only two people in line at the self-service kiosk. But it still took forever. And the guy behind me was talking about all the voter fraud that happened in Georgia. And I was like, where'd you get that, buddy, Breitbart? Um, I shouldn't, I didn't say that. If he had said one more word, I was about to, like, I was about to turn around and say something. Anyways. Be like, where's the source for that information, sir? Anyways... Task one. I mean, it's not task one. I've done a lot today. Um, but as far as my errands right now. Okay. Mailed that. Shoo. All right. Now I got to go get gas. And then I have to drive to the neighboring city to do my other things. Which is like a 30 minute drive. So. God bless us everyone. I feel like I need a shower after that. Both from sweating and just being around other people. It's like the most people I've been near in a, well, in a while. Um, all right, let's go. So I'm at the bookstore and I didn't find much in the way of like new releases, regular stuff. I found like one thing, but oh my God, I went to look for their babysitter's club. Look what I found. Pay dirt. All of these that I've pulled are ones I don't have. A ton of mysteries and a bunch of super specials and some super mysteries. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. I'm back at the house. I am so tired. Like, I don't leave the house anymore, right? I don't do things. So <laughs> I ran all these errands today and now I'm, I'm pooped. Uh, it is just about five o'clock. We are losing light. Uh, I just now got home. Scott's gonna take a little snooze. He's had a long week. Um, so everything from my list is done except for finishing editing tomorrow's video. My video that I put up today, which was my holiday makeup look, is doing so badly. And like, I knew that it would because anytime I post anything that's not bookish, it absolutely tanks, even if it's something fun for me to do, like 56 views, which is, I mean, normally I have at least 100 to 150 at this point. Um, literally, 100 to 150 is typical, so it's doing very badly. And I try not to take that personally because it's like, yeah, it's makeup. It's not something everyone is going to be interested in, um, but... It sucks sometimes. I'm like, that was a 50 minute video that I called down to 28 minutes. Like I spent a lot of time editing that, but that's okay. I had fun making it, so there's that. Um, and I'm editing tomorrow's video, which you can know, cause this won't be up till later in the week, but it's the Christmas Carol book tag. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier and that was fun to film and that shouldn't be too hard to edit. And I'm already like a third of the way done. So I'm going to edit that, make a thumbnail, get that uploading. Tonight at seven, the girls from the Stacks of Strange Book Club and I are going to do like a teleparty for this really cheesy Christmas movie. I don't even know, Santa's Girl? Is that what it's called? Um, anyway, and we're gonna watch that and just like roast it, which will be fun. Um, so we're gonna do that. Scott will make something for dinner later. We just, as I said, got a grocery order. This is a super exciting vlog, huh? Tomorrow I'll probably film, I kind of need to film something for Vlogmas because I don't have anything for Sunday. <sighs> Vlogmas y'all, this is a commitment. Um, but I forgot to take my Christmas cards to the post office so I'll drop those off tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna stop yapping and I'm gonna start editing. Tell me what they like so there's not necessarily like, oh my gosh, one book I'm gonna recommend to everybody. I hope this isn't driving you crazy. Um, not one book that I would recommend to everyone. Yeah, um, but one to watch by Kate Stamen London because I think that there is so much important talk in this book about weight and bodies and body image and fatness and being a fat woman. You know. 
they want to the black. I don't think that there's like, I don't know. Maybe there is romance, perhaps. It's not. So Scott is right there making a, uh, we're doing a new recipe. He's making cauliflower mash for the first time. And then we have a, we, <laughs> he has a pork tenderloin in the oven. And I am very excited about this dinner. This is a new recipe. We're trying some new stuff. You ready? This looks. You ready to taste it? I want you to taste test it. Oh my goodness, that looks good. So here's my view. I've got the tree. I've got June's butt. We're getting ready to watch Santa Girl on Teleparty with the Stacks of Strange Girls. And my dinner of pork tenderloin with cauliflower mash. I'm so excited. It looks so good. Well, hello. I have been very remiss in vlogging today. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I've had a busy day. And by busy, I mean I slept until 10.30. And then since then, I have been busy. And by busy, I mean I watched two episodes of The Undoing. Okay, so let me really quick say we started The Undoing, which is an HBO show that has six episodes, miniseries. We started it last night, watched two last night. We watched two this morning. We will probably watch two tonight. Oh my God, it's so good. If you like mysteries, watch it. That's all I'm going to say. Like, it's obviously adult. There's like nudity and stuff. Um, and violence. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. It's got Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant. Love. Um, it has Edgar Ramirez. Love. Donald Sutherland. Love. So, watch it. It's super good. Um, I have done two videos today. I have edited almost one complete video because I don't have a video going up tomorrow. So I need to get on that. Um, and then I'm actually going to go to my mom's here in a bit. My uncle is br is driving through and he is in town for the evening. And while ordinarily we've been like quarantining, uh, we're gonna go see them with our masks on just to say hello and stay for a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go do that here in a bit and then probably going to film another little something tonight that will go up later in the week. Um, I do have some, like, I could do some things with you guys. I have a little bit of time. I think what I'm going to do right now is show you the Babysitter's Club books I bought yesterday. So we're going to do a mini haul. And by, I mean, mini in the sense that these are small books. But there's like 20 of them. But I'm going to just, like, go over them super quick. I don't know the plots of all these. So I hit pay dirt, as you saw, at uh, my local book used a bookstore. I was really disappointed honestly there because I thought that their prices have gone way way up. I understand it's a pandemic but I was like is this gonna be like a thing? Is this like how it always is? Because you know and it's like the only I don't want to say it's a used books. I think it technically is a used bookstore. Um, they've been there forever but they are I don't know. They also fired one of my friends for no reason. Um, and he like had a brand new baby. And so I'm a little salty about it. Anyways. Um, I was a little disappointed because I didn't really see anything that I wanted that wasn't like, really expensive. Um, again, now I I'll gladly pay, you know, for a new book. But it's like, I don't want to pay like $12 for a used paperback that's a couple years old. Like, that's a little strange to me. Anyway, uh, I will show you the one non-Babysitter's Club book that I got, and that is Ask Again, Yes by Mary Beth Keen. Um, I just know that this is like a good domestic, um, family, character-driven story. Um, my friend Jonna loves this book. Uh, I love the cover of this book. I meant to read it earlier in the year and just didn't. Um, this follows two families for like 30 different year, 30 years that are like neighbors. Um, I just think, oh my god, that font is so tiny. I just think it'll be good. So anyway, I'm trying to really only add books to my shelves that I'm going to read. Now, my Babysitter's Club collection, I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can. Okay, so there's the beginning of my Babysitter's Club collection. And it goes all the way across. There's a second bookshelf and it goes all the way across. Um, so let me fix that. So I'm going to be adding to this. I'm trying to get a full set, obviously, of Babysitter's Club books. Um, so I'm going to divide these at least into mysteries, super mysteries, and super specials uh, because I didn't get any regular ones. They 
the only, they only had like one and I, it was one I already had. But they had a crap ton of mysteries. Actually, that's not true. I got one regular one. Um, oh my god, the super specials. Oh my god. Um, so if you don't know, I'm a huge Babysitter Club fan. I think you guys already knew that though. Um, here's the first one I'll show you because there's only one of them. And that is Lugan Bruno. L Lugan? Did I just say Lugan? Logan Bruno. Lugan Bruno. Boy Babysitter. Now, Logan is... Mary Ann's BF. So this is the one where I guess he tries to be babysitter. And then I got number 82, which I was missing, which is Jesse and the Troublemakers. Um, and then let's just go through the mysteries. I'm not going to put them in order or anything. But I got number 35, Abby and the Notorious Neighbor. Mary Ann and the Zoo Mystery. Mary Ann. I love her, but she's such a spaz. Um... Christy and the Missing Fortune, number 19. Number 16, and I remember this cover. Claudia and the Clue in the Photograph. I remember that cover, like, a lot. Number 5, Mary Ann and the Secret in the Attic. I feel like I also remember this cover. Number 18, Stacy and the Mystery at the Empty House. Girl, get out of that empty house. Mm -mm, I'll be there. Mystery number 30, Christy and the Mystery Train. I like this cover a lot. Uh, Claudia and the Lighthouse Ghost. Ooh, number 27. Number 13, Mary Ann and the Library Mystery. Mary Ann would have a mystery in the library, that old nerd. I'm, I'm a Mary Ann, even though I wish I was a Dawn. Jesse and the Jewel Thieves. What? Uh, that's number eight. Number seven, Dawn and the Disappearing Dogs. She's got her little Christie's Crushers softball sweatshirt on. Mystery number nine, Christie and the Haunted Mansion. What if one year I'm just like, I'm only going to read Babysitter's Club. I get so behind on my other reading. Number 11, Claudia and the Mystery at the Museum. And the last regular mystery I got is mystery number 14, Stacy and the Mystery at the Mall. Stacey would have a mystery at the mall. And Marianne would have one at the library. The super mysteries I got. I got two of these. That is number two, uh, Babysitter's Beware. And then number four. And I'm going to try to read this this month. Just because. It's Babysitter's Christmas Chiller. Like, it's a Christmas super mystery. I'm going to have to try to read that. I also got five super specials. I love the super specials a whole lot. Um, oh my gosh. So the one, and I have, I do have it. It's over there. Um, the one that I remember owning was BSC in the USA, where they go on like the bus trip and they go all over the place. This one is number six, New York, New York. Obviously, they go to New York in this one. Number nine, starring the Babysitter's Club. So they're all in like a play. Oh my gosh, love this. Number 10, Sea City, Here We Come. I remember reading that one. I didn't know about this. And this is a super special, super special, in my opinion. Because this is gold and it has all of their name. Oh, I guess number 12 also has their names written on it. Maybe that's just something new they started doing. It has their names on it. It's the Babysitter's Remember, number 11. And it's all gold. The teachers at SMS have assigned homework for over the summer. Oh, so they just start thinking about like all the... So it's like a clip show, you know? Like when, <laughs> when shows do like a 100th episode clip show. That's like what this is. They're just going to like reminisce about their, their old um, shenanigans. And then I have number 12. Here come the bridesmaids. Yeah, all those. Pretty good haul. Uh, but anyway, it is about time for me to go to my mom's. Uh, I've not read anything. That's not true. I've read a little bit of Mistletoe and Mr. Wright, like 5%, probably 20 pages. Not been great on my reading this weekend, um, but I've been filming and editing a lot, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go, and I'm going to charge my battery, and I'll talk to you later. So we're back home. Um, we visited with my uncle for a while, which was really nice. Um, and now we're gonna finish the last two episodes of The Undoing. We're very sleepy. It's 9.35 and we're old. But 
There's only two episodes left, and like I know we won't be able to watch one. We'll have to watch the, like the last two because the twists, you guys, the twists. No reading update, <laughs> of course. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. All right, we just finished the undoing and are getting into bed. Very good. Gave it a four and a half out of five on Letterboxd. Compelling, kept me guessing, second guessing. Every episode ends on like a what the fuck moment. It's only six episodes, so recommend that. Um, I'm gonna try to read. I feel very stuck with this because I don't feel compelled to read this ever. But I'm already halfway through. Um, and then I also could read uh, Mistletoe and Mr. Wright, which is an easier read, but it's so long for a contemporary. I feel like it's like 400 pages. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna take my makeup off and start reading one of them because I, I need to I need to get going. I have other stuff I want to read this month. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna catch up with you tomorrow. Don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Probably a lot of nothing, but I'll try to make it interesting. Hello. Uh, it's Sunday morning-ish. I don't know where my phone is. It is like noon, so it's not the morning anymore. Um, I've decided that I'm going to be very lazy today. Um, I have been watching, catching up on some YouTube in bed and snuggling with my cats. And now I've moved to the living room. Scott is playing some video games. Um, in his little room area that he has. So I think I'm going to watch one of my cheesy Christmas movies that I have on my list that I want to watch. Um, because Scott will watch cheesy stuff, but like, I don't want to make him watch like the cheesy, like Netflix, like princess switch type movies that are like really bad. So I want to watch the new princess switch switched again. I also have operation Christmas drop on my list. Um, I already watched The Holiday, which I weirdly enjoyed. I thought that was actually pretty good. Um, like, you know, watchable. I'd heard it was terrible. Um, and then I watched it and I was like, oh, oh that was pretty cute. I'd watch that again. Um, so yeah, I don't know which one I'm going to watch, but that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, as far as reading, uh, I'm really struggling with reading right now. <clears throat> I read so much the first week during Tis the Season-a-thon and now I'm just like I haven't finished anything since then and that was a week ago. So I think I've decided that I'm going to DNF these Violent Delights because I'm just not compelled to pick it up at all. And it's now two days overdue at the library so I need to take it back um, and I can't renew it anymore. I've renewed it as many times as I can so yeah. Um, I'm reading Mistletoe and Mr. Wright, but I need to finish that soon because my, ugh, I have cat hair, my digital library loan is ending in like two days and the live show for it for the currently reading book club is in six days. So I'm only 25% in and it's taking me forever to read for some reason. Um, I don't know. I'm just like, I need something. I wish I had um, the audiobook or something that I could listen to, but that's where I'm at right now. So when I'm not watching a movie today, um, I will probably be editing tomorrow's video, editing this vlog, and reading Mistletoe and Mr. Wright by Sarah Morgan Thaler. So that's my plan for today. Not very exciting. It's later in the evening. I am about to have a cup of candy cane crush tea from David's Tea in my Meowie Christmas cup. And I figured I would just end this vlog because I've not vlogged much at all today. I vlogged much more on Friday and a little yesterday. Um, I've just been very lazy today. I took a nap. I, I did edit my video for tomorrow. I'm waiting for that right now to um, upload. And just like planning for vlogmas, what I need to do. I preferred at the beginning when I had like four videos ready to go because now I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get tomorrow's video up. 
so I'm a little more stressed. I need to get to a point where I have some backlog ready to go, but you know. So I'm gonna enjoy my cup of tea. Um, it smells so good. It smells literally like a candy cane. Um, I think I will enjoy this peppermint tea more than the mint tea that I tried in my Tis the season a thon vlog, which is like the organic African something mint. Wasn't feeling the other flavors, but this I think is gonna just be like pepperminty. So I'm excited. It smells good. Let's have a little taste if it's not too hot. Oh, it's still a bit hot, but it does taste good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have my cup of tea and wait for my video to upload. And then Scott and I will probably go to bed. So I'm going to sign off here. Um, I hope that you enjoyed <laughs> this very boring, lazy at-home vlog. Well, I wasn't lazy on Friday at all. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. So if you did, put a red heart in the comments down below if you got to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have been having a wonderful holiday season as best as you can and that you have been enjoying Vlogmas and I will be back soon with more Vlogmas content. Goodbye!